advantage of that open space. Isad. Ow. Football brought down. <laughs> A wag of the finger. Look at the ball. Him. Launching himself into attack. You can't be off the ground yeah. like that. It doesn't matter. Right, There's no side. contact on the ball. You can wag your finger all you like. Damar Buyan now to take the free kick. The, car, the crowd getting excited here. People will say, I knew that was always sailing over. Nice right, smile from Jamal. He wasn't sure. Was he? For me, that's a really, really well-timed run. Very smart. I think he's even caught the linesman out there. Tell you what, that's not going to put them off, is it? They're going to keep trying to just test out that centre-back partnership because he goes in between them. That's the sort of run that causes real issues for a centre-back. That, that needs organisation to deal with that run. Going with players, not allowing players to run. That's the sort of thing that's just going to unlock that door for Bangladesh. Here's Nagam and Ziza. Oh, oh, in a good position here! Topo Jin by Anshamiri Mana. Two and a half minutes before half-time. In their first real attempt, they score. Well, it's the first oh, real time. I thought that might have been... They might have pulled that back. Excuse me. Sorry, Simon. Just waiting for VAR. Were we there? <laughs> no question there. A good delivery. It's a clever delivery. He's played it in behind the strikers. Too easy for me how he's just managed to take two touches and then a big toe in at the far corner. Amy Day is having a huge go with his team, and this is what we talked about Ungo Boziza, what he can do. But there was a sea of players as well around Anshmiri Mana. Yeah, they've all gambled that Ungo Boziza is going to put the ball in front of the, the goalkeeper. Instead, clever little cutback. He extends his celebrations, it leaves them short manned at the back, and they have to work to get back quickly. But just had talked about not That's conceding. the sort of run that causes real issues for a centre-back. That, that needs organisation to deal with that run. Going with players, not allowing players to run. That's the sort of thing that's just going to unlock that door for Bangladesh. Here's Nagam and Ziza. Oh, in oh. a good position here! Topo Jin by Anshamiri Mana. Two and a half minutes before half-time. In their first real attempt, they score. Well, it's the first oh, real time. I thought that might have been... They might have pulled that back. Excuse me. Sorry, Simon. Just waiting for VAR. Were we there? <laughs> no question there. A good delivery. It's a clever delivery. He's played it in behind the strikers. Too easy for me how he's just managed to take two touches and then a big toe in at the far corner. Amy Day is having a huge go with his team. And this is what we talked about, Ungo Boziza what he can do. But there was a sea of players as well around Anshamiri Mana. Yeah, they've all gambled that Ingo Bonzi is going to put the ball in front of the, def the goalkeeper. Instead, clever little cut back. He extends his celebrations, it leaves them short manned at the back and they have to work to get back quickly. But just had talked about they not conceding. They're looking to find passes when just wants it at the other end of the pitch. Good defensive header from Again, we see them give the ball away. Give the ball to this man as well, Ungo Boziza. That's great play from him. Oh, what a goal! Anshamiri Mana. Well, that's superb header after again. Brilliant wide work from Ungo Boziza. Well, we called it 30 seconds earlier. You cannot give the ball away on the edge of the box when you have an attacking wide player like Ungo Boziza. His delivery has been excellent today. He's only put two crosses in, and there's two goals now. And it's that man again appearing in that position that we talked about where he's a lot more influential. It's a cracking header. It really is. It's a great cross and a cracking header. That same combination. Locking that defence once again. He's guided that in there brilliantly, hasn't he? And Difficult skill, that. Heading a ball when you're moving backwards. Difficult skill. Takes you, a, lot you, of, a lot of power to do that. Oh, well, we've just got to sit back and, and enjoy that goal because it was a wonderfully worked one, wasn't it, in the end? The way that Ungo Moziza stole the ball got to the byline, did exactly what he's meant to do. 
Some players would just whip a ball into the box there, not look up and just whip a ball in. He's taken the time, he's beat. He had so much time here. Goes for the near post. Puts it in. Pull back running past the ball here. You know he's got one foot. He doesn't have a left, he doesn't, he comes back in on his left foot actually and finishes that one. You should always be showing him outside, showing him to the line. You've allowed him to step, take that step back in. Yeah, he's found space at the near post. Well, I'm afraid that you think is going to be, and just think, 30 seconds earlier.